Hey everyone, welcome back to Adventures with Peps. Today we are diving into the gritty world of Judge Dredd and take on the legendary Stan Lee character. We'll be bringing this Warlord miniature alive using Army Painter Speed Paints. So let's get ready to unleash my inner artist. Let's jump right in. All right, here is the Judge Dredd miniature. This character is Stan Lee. He is an expert in martial arts, hailing from the Radlands of Ji in China, and was trained by the outlaw Fighting Heart Kloon. Hopefully I'm pronouncing these right. I probably guarantee I am not. But hey, <laughs> you don't come here for me to pronounce stuff correctly. Uh, he is also known as Deaf Fist. Stan Lee shares his last name with the martial artist slash actor Bruce Lee and his full name with the Marvel Comics writer and editor Stanley. So hopefully we can honor this amazing sculpt and uh, give him some justice. Right, first up, we are using Army Painter Speed Paints as I always do, you know me, quick and dirty painting. Uh, it's gonna be absolutely perfect for this model. I've got the colors already picked out. I know what I'm doing. It's going to give me a nice dynamic look without me having to spend hours painting this model. So we're going to go for that nice quick tabletop ready look that's going to be hopefully nice and vibrant and ideal for a nice speedy red painting job. At the end of this video I'm going to do a few extra steps on the model because I fell in love with this model. So I'm going to go that extra little step with him because I really like him. I said that about Devlin Moir. Now I'm saying about this guy, this set of the latest characters, they are all A+. Plus. They are A++ plus plus models. I absolutely adore the Warlord games. You did such a good job on these ones. Um, so I started with a dark base coat of black. I just used my usual cheap black primer that I grabbed from a Walmart. Really nothing fancy. Then I heavily dry brushed it with the pallid witch flesh. And that got me ready for all my army speed painters. Kicked things off with the grim black, which I rarely use, but he has black hair. He's got his nunchucks, he's got his boots, so I thought it made sense to actually use it for once. Now, with this first layer almost done, I will uh, quickly talk about what I'm getting up to, and then we'll talk about the model slash character as well. So after these last few bits of black paint, I'm going to do the sand golem on his skin, which is going to give him a nice strong skin tone. And they're going to flow very nicely and shade quite well, giving me that really good strong comic book feel. But as the sand golem is drying, I will come to the realization that I need to do an extra little, extra little step to make him like properly pop. Because the sand golem, to be honest, came out a little bit darker than I thought it would. I probably didn't uh, use enough medium to water it down. So it came out a lot stronger than I had originally planned. So I wanted to lighten it up a little bit. So at the end of this video, I will take the extra step to do some work on his body. But as we go through the colors and you watch me paint this lovely model, let's talk about the character Stan Lee. Lee is an expert in martial arts, hailing from the Radlands of Jian to China, and was trained by the outlaw Fighting Heart Kloon, and was a deadly assassin. He is one of very few people to ever defeat Dread in single combat. On their first encounter together, he left Dread lying unconscious in the middle of the streets, and it actually was a massive embarrassment for Dread. He, uh, he did not take it well at all. If you've not read those stories, go treat yourself to the case files. Uh, 2000 AD actually have a online app now, which make getting their comics a lot easier if you're uh, struggling to find certain issues. Go find it. Go read it. It's a great little story. It's well worth the time. Now, of course, with Dread being defeated by him, he had to come back in later issues, and Dread goes on to actually defeat him twice more, which is a little bit of a gut blow for Stan Lee. He is ultimately captured on the third time and given a life sentence for murder. With uh, such shame being brought on the clan, a female version 
of Stan Lee, another assassin from the same order named Lu Wang, attacks Dredd for the honor of the order and obviously gets defeated by Dredd. Can't have Dredd getting beaten up by anybody, so she obviously gets defeated as well. He was a super proud fighter. Something ha I've not read his final story. I had to look this up on Wikipedia. Uh, he ultimately goes on to fight someone who has the ability to send him back in time. And he is sent back before the Big Bang. And in a fit of rage, he punches something that explodes, causing the Big Bang and killing Stanley. Now, if that's true, that is an amazing story arc and I need to find it. If it, Stanley is the reason the galaxy is created, that just is perfect. But I'm hoping it was just to show his arrogance and his pride, the fact that he would rather die and destroy everything than uh, be trapped or be tricked by somebody else. He's just so arrogant and great. I think we need to have a one-on-one -on -one matchup of this guy against Dredd. Don't know stat-wise how he matches up. I've not actually read his card. Um, I'm just going in blind with this. I looked at some artwork and just started painting him. Grabbed the paints. He's been sat on my shelf for way too long. It's time to give him a paint job. As you can see, I'm currently using the Alchemy Purple. Which is going to dry really nicely. It's going to look very beautiful when it's finished. It has a great pop of colour to his head. And there we go. That was Stan Lee's story. There wasn't actually much on him. He was in a couple of Dread comics. He had a side bit when the female assassin came to make a city one. And then he was in the Hondo City series. Uh, oh, what was that called? I've got the comic upstairs. It's the disgraced Hondo judge. And he's like a Ronan. Um, Shimura? Is that how it's pronounced? I want to say Shimura. Probably butchering that name. Another great comic, by the way, but um, it's uh, it's uh, discussed in there that Stan Lee actually gave him his facial scars that he has throughout the uh, story arc that I've read of him. So that was a nice little nod, and I think it's also in that version that he meets his ultimate end. Not 100% sure on that, but I'm sure you uh, 2000 AD nerds out there will be able to help me with that. We are actually on to the final step, which is this Hive Dweller purple. Nice dark purple for these trousers. And while I'm doing that, it's probably a nice time to say, if you've got this far into the video, we're what, nearly eight minutes in. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully um, you've found something that you've enjoyed. You've learned something new. I've inspired you to paint the model. Whatever it is, I hopefully we have achieved that little goal. If I have, make sure to drop me a comment below saying hi. It's always nice to talk to you guys and if you're already down there you might as well hit like comment subscribe all that good stuff i gotta do a call to action in every video i also want to find more judge dread players painters whatever you are collectors so if you are a judge dread collector player whatever make sure you come and find me on discord there'll be a link below you just click the link it will sign you in you'll be good to go if you haven't got an account it's very easy to make one it's basically a chat room you can talk dread. There's a few of us in there. We try and post as often as we can. Real life gets in the way, so it can be a bit hit and miss at the moment. But make sure you come and say hi. We are all very happy to see other people's models and chat crap. So that's a great place to do it. And with these final touches, I think we're probably ready for the glamour shots. So I'll let this dry. I'll do some touch-ups off camera and then we can do the glamour shots. And here he is is Stan Lee. Hope you enjoyed this painting adventure. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for more creative journeys with me, it's Adventures with Peps. And to make sure you share your own dread cre creations in the comments below or join my Discord. But until next time, keep painting and keep creating. Boy boy.